Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm taking a look at Black Panther. This is one character that's infamously been bad throughout most of the game's history, and even when he's been good, he hasn't really ever been meta, maybe for a month at most, but that's pretty much it. So this is one reason why this uniform and his upgrade is a big deal, because it's finally his chance to become meta in the game for however many months it may be. So with this uniform, the character actually becomes quite good, specifically in things like World Boss Legend and ABX. However, the only issue is that he still isn't meta. And that is kind of a big deal when a character never is meta and they are popular, and also because the characters that are in the meta get swapped out every few months or so. So even if he was meta for maybe like <laughs> even two months, that would still be better than nothing since he's probably going to be replaced anyway. But the fact that he isn't still with this most modern upgrade is kind of tragic. The main issue is that the character doesn't really outperform a Moon Knight, a uniform and upgrade that's over a year old. He is slightly better than him in certain seasons. But other than that, he's pretty much on par with Moon Knight, which again doesn't really make sense for a uniform that's come out a year later. The other problem that I noticed is that although the character is quite good in World Boss Legend, he only really has two tags, which are Command and the Agility tag, and for the most part, Odin just is far superior than him for the Command tag, and actually has supports for that restriction, whereas Black Panther doesn't really have too many, so his value there drops a bit more. And for the Agility tag, there are already some great options there that just provide more value than him. You have characters like Spider-Gwen and Shadow Shell that also are speed and human female, so they have way more restrictions that they satisfy, and they can also kind of double up as PvP characters depending on how you build them. Because the character still isn't meta, and because his value is quite limited compared to the value that other characters provide when you upgrade them, this is one of the few reasons why I think the character needs a buff, and I'll kind of discuss what that might be after I show how the character performs. The initial tests that I did were with no damage proc, and then later on I did end up equipping a Mighty Rage, just to show you what the character can do if you want to get him to level 80 and get a proc on him, but aren't able to get him to T4. I obviously also did T4 him, so I can show you what he can do in the max value, and so that I could actually provide a reasonable review as to why the character probably needs a buff. As you can see from this clip, without a leadership, support, or damage proc, the character was able to complete stage 9 within about a minute and 30 seconds, which for my account means that the character is definitely solid for this game mode. Going through stage 24 under the same conditions, the character is able to complete the fight and does so with about 50 seconds left over. However, I noticed that he is falling a little bit behind since I've tested characters at stage 29 under the same conditions again, no damage proc and no supports or leadership, and they have completed it with about 60 seconds left over. Those are the ones that are also good for War Boss Legend. To see how his performance would compare when I upgraded him to level 80, I also took him into a stage 64, this time using a leadership and support, and within the first two minute window, which means that if he was able to complete the first phase in those two minutes, he could complete the stage entirely. He wasn't able to do that, but was able to get about 15 health bars in that period of time. The level 80 upgrade makes a significant difference for Black Panther, where he previously couldn't complete the first phase in that 2 minute window, he does so at level 80, and actually does it with about 30 seconds to spare, and ends up doing 15 additional health bars of damage within the same period of time. Furthermore, unlike the other combat types like Doc Ock, Moon Knight, and Venom, he is actually able to complete stage 64 without damage proc, and does so with about 30 seconds left over so he really is pretty awesome in World Boss Legend. I didn't even bother doing stage 29 of Mephisto just because he was able to clear the first phase within about 15 seconds, so he can easily do this stage. Instead, I went to stage 80 using She-Hulk as the leadership, but unfortunately there isn't another option for support, and unfortunately that was too big of a jump and I wasn't able to complete the stage. It took well over two minutes and almost 30 seconds to complete the first phase. With the level 80 and without a damage proc, I wasn't able to complete stage 49 of gore. I would have ran out of time. 
So I just ended up cutting the clip around the two minute marker, which I ended up finishing the first phase with about nine bars of health left. Black Panther's performance in ABX is also quite good. At level 80 without a damage proc and with the combat hero setup, I was able to score almost 10 million. The character definitely has value in ABX since he has all of the cancel effects for the different seasons. He has silence, paralysis, and burn, and other characters that people use like Moon Knight are missing the silence effect so they would have to kind of T4 him to get that and by using a striker that has that silence effect their score could end up dipping a bit. So for Black Panther on the silence season he does end up performing a bit better than Moon Knight there. But for the different seasons the characters are pretty much on par with Moon Knight arguably being ahead which again is quite ridiculous for a uniform that is over a year old. The characters seem solid in Giant Boss Raid as well, even at level 70 without that damage proc, I was able to complete the first phase within about a minute and 30 seconds, which means that he can solve this fight by himself. So if you want to build this character for PvE, which is what I would recommend, then I think that his best option overall is a CTP of Rage. He has really high guaranteed crit in his kit, and also has some crit and crit damage, which allows you to cap out his stats. The character is proc friendly, so you can use a CTP of energy or destruction if you wanted to, but I don't think the difference in World Boss Legend performance is that significant over Rage, and the Rage will provide you better value overall across the different game modes, such as ABX and ABL, and also Giant Boss Raid. In this series of clips, I ended up equipping a mighty CTP of Rage to show people how good the character can be, even if you don't end up taking him to T4. With the Mighty Rage equipped, I was able to shave off about 2 minutes from the stage 64 clear. Versus Mephisto, I did end up going 4 stages higher than I did in the previous test and didn't end up completing the fight, but I think that he definitely can complete the fight and probably would do so with almost no time remaining. The fact that a combat type with a type disadvantage and only a leadership and no support is able to basically clear stage 84 of Mephisto just highlights how strong Black Panther is for World Boss Legends specifically. And in the gore fight, where I ended up having 9 health bars left on the first phase with 2 minutes remaining, with that mighty rage, he was able to complete the fight entirely almost in the same period of time, doing 19 bars of damage more. For those wondering what the difference was in ABX, the mighty rage essentially allowed me to score 2 million more than when I previously had no damage proc. At T4, the character's HP doesn't really increase too drastically, at least relative to some of the other combat heroes, but that doesn't really matter too much since the character won't be utilized for PvP for the most part. His physical attack does increase by a decent amount, being around 12,000. In terms of the striker to use for the character, you want to use whichever Justice Instinct character you have built up the most, so that you can get the highest value T4 skill, Usually, the ones that I found were the best are Black Widow for things like ABX, since she also has that 100% damage increase or attack increase to her skill, and other characters could also be ones like Hulk. But for ABL specifically, it seems like Thor is just clearly better than some of the other options, even though it ends up reducing his T4 skill values. With the T4 skill unlocked, I'm able to complete stage 64 about 60 seconds faster. Versus Mephisto, the clear time improved by almost 2 minutes. And also note that versus Null, even though the clear time was better by 60 seconds, it probably would have been more than that, but it was restricted by the animations and phase changes. Versus Gore, it was about a 20 second improvement, but again, it was probably restricted by the many different animations and phase changes he has in the fight. Lastly, in ABX, that T4 and Black Widow as a striker was able to net me almost a million higher score. The character doesn't really have any of the cancel effects for ABL, so you either have to switch or end up using an inferior striker to get those cancel effects but I still managed to get a pretty decent score of almost 9 million with him. And again, keep in mind that I don't have his artifact or any Odins on the character. The rotation that I used throughout the testing was to do a 1 cancel 2 cancel to fill up the ultimate NT4 faster, then you do a 3 slight delay cancel about a half second when you see the spear get thrown up in the air, then you do a slight delay cancel of the 5th skill when the animation just ends up starting, then you finish off on the fourth skill. In the second rotation, when you end up getting the ultimate, I usually do a one and two cancel, followed by a quick four cancel, 
and then I do a three delay cancel, five delay cancel, and then finish off on the sixth or ultimate skill. I essentially use the T4 skill whenever it's available, and if at times it's close to matching up with the T3 skill, I might hold off a little bit so that it impacts that skill more. Funny enough, with the T4 and the Mighty Rage, I was able to complete the entire fight of Dormammu in the same time that I completed the first phase without any of those upgrades. I did end up testing him a bit in timeline with an Invincible and Guardbreak Immunity Obelisk, but he didn't really perform too consistently. The main issue that he has is that he needs some survivability so that he can go into his skills, but he also needs penetration so those skills can actually go through the invincible the opponent has. It's really unfortunate they didn't make him a PvP hybrid since his fifth skill is almost identical to Wolverine's fifth skill, so if it had Super Guard Break Immunity and Iframe Ignore, and you put on a CTP Destruction for the character, he would actually be quite strong offensively. Sadly, that's not the case, but if you still want to use the character for PvP, a Destruction would likely be the most ideal option since it gives you the penetration, and because his survival isn't that great, you want to take out the opponent faster than they can do the same to you. The added bonus is that you also get to leverage the character in PvE content. So with the character clearly being for PvE and being so great in it like World Boss Legend and doing pretty solid in ABX, you might be wondering why I'm even complaining or why the character would even justify having a buff. The main reason is because the character is good but doesn't really have any targeted value to any game modes. There are other characters that just perform better than him or have more value across different game modes, so there doesn't really ever end up being a real reason to upgrade Black Panther specifically, when you can upgrade these other characters and perform better in the specific game modes that Black Panther can operate in, or just end up having more value across the different game modes. For example, in ABX, Moon Knight ends up performing just as well as he does, and most people have him built up, so there's no real reason to get Black Panther there, and for the world boss stages where you can use Black Panther, ones with the command tag, for example, Odin, Star Lord, and other characters perform just as well there and actually have supports, since a lot of those characters are also energy based supports, whereas Panther can't benefit off of them. And for things like agility, like I mentioned, you have other characters that people probably already got because they have value in many different World Boss Legend restriction and ABX days, such as Spider Gwen and even Shadow Shell. With the character not outperforming other characters in the specific game modes that are needed and not having any specific value in the game, that is the main reason why I think the character should be buffed, so that you can utilize him where it's needed and where the character excels. This character has been horrible for a really long time, and now that he's finally good, there needs to be a reason for people to build him. For that to happen, he needs to be meta in something, and ABX is probably the best option for that. It's ultimately up to the devs and what they want to do, but in my opinion, if they want to improve him for ABX, they can probably do two things. One of them is to maybe increase the amount of hits that he has on his skills by a little bit, or possibly add a transferable single skill damage proc to either his third skill or maybe his fourth skill. Besides that, the second portion of his T4 skill just provides even more attack increase, which the base part already does, so instead of that, they can try and change that to increasing chain hit damage as opposed to attack increase, or possibly even try out that final damage increase that they've done for some of their characters, but ultimately ended up scrapping. I think any two of these changes would probably make the character meta, but in my opinion, if they just increase the amount of hits on his base kit by a little bit, and just change the second part of his T4 to chain hit damage as opposed to attack or basic attack increase, I think that that would probably be the best option. That pretty much does it for this one. I'm curious to see what you guys think about Black Panther, so definitely leave a comment down below. I wish I could recommend him to more people because he is great, but I just don't see the value that he provides, so unfortunately I can't really do that at the moment. If you did end up finding this video helpful or entertaining, please consider subscribing and possibly sharing it with others. I always appreciate people taking the time to watch these, so thank you, but the video is now over.